All right, boys. We got an issue. <laughs> I uh, I gotta get gas for one, but check this out. That's cold start. See that? Service advanced track. So, got an issue. <laughs> Always something. Well, at least the car was, it's been sitting for a while and uh, you know, started bringing it out. Then this came up last night. I got a quick gallon of gas cause I'm gonna go get, go top off right now. And um, that issue came up. Search the forms, you know, always do some, some searching. And uh, Sync has connected to your phone and is re Yes. And uh, so it could be a wheel speed sensor or something. I don't think it's ABS, but um, yeah, so. I uh, hit up one of my buddies um, to see if I could borrow a scanner because I have not ordered one on Amazon yet, which I do have. I mean, I could go to Vato Zone, but um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. So that's another option, but that's what we got going on right now. Last night I was driving home when I left work it did the same error code and then on my trip home the light went away now sport mode traction control on what's up everybody <laughs> so I picked up this launch C reader one two three CR CRP one two three and wanted to talk go over the uh, issue that I was having with the car um, basically got everything checked out at Nestor's place he did a full visual check on it and whatnot and the issue was throwing too many different codes I go ahead and list them and he was saying having a body code with a transmission code with the ABS with this whole array of codes popping up was interesting so what it was was most likely because I changed the battery in January, didn't drive it for like like very much throughout January, February, March. Then I started driving driving this daily for the most part and the code was probably going through the system and checking and doing self check self check and then it finally fix itself after going through so many cycles because I was on my way home and started up the, the same issue that popped up happened and then on my way home I got another flicker and everything was good to go so let's see if we'll see if that does anything but we'll light it up good evening right there at the bottom I gotta change the oil in this car which will lead me to the next video. But let's go through a diagnose, diagnosis. Oh shit. Okay, let me sit you down real quick. Hopefully this is all right. Let's see, let's do a scan. Ford, search. And I did have one code that popped up on here and. Sync has connected to your phone and is Let's see, automatic, it's gonna check. And um, it was a yaw rate. So look, there's the ABS, power, P PCM, and that one went real quick. And this, this CRP123 does, does have a little bit of lag. It's what I did notice, but everything is good. Good. Let's go to OBD and I'll go through a check there. Bam, bam, bam. Let's see, read codes. No codes. So we're all squared away. Hopefully, you saw that. If not, we'll overlay something or we'll just see the DTC. No codes in this vehicle. But for the most part, I drove the vehicle, let it cycle through some power because um, that's all I let it do. 
cycled through a couple times and it cleared itself. The forms were wrong. It was just the vehicle needed to self-check multiple times and finally cleared the code itself. All right, if you guys have any questions, like the video, thought it was informative or anything like that, give me a thumbs up, put a comment, whatever you want, dislike it, I don't care, whatever. But that's that. So take it easy. Okay.